Hello dear students. In this video, we are going to learn about distance time graphs. In our previous video, we have learned basics of graphs wherein we discussed about how to plot points on the graph and what is the gradient of the graph. Here, we are going to talk about a specific type of motion graph that we have in our syllabus that's distance time graph. Here, note that distance is a dependent quantity that is it always takes time to cover some distance but time is an independent quantity meaning the body may cover distance or it may not but time will not stop for the distance. As time is an independent quantity it is represented on x-axis and distance being a dependent quantity on time it is represented on y-axis. We will take a basic example of distance time graph. I have written some values for time and distance. Note that time is measured in seconds and distance is measured in meter. In one second body covers 10 meter of distance in 2 seconds it covers total 15 meters of distance in 3 seconds the distance is still 15 it means that there is no movement of body between time second to third in fourth second body reaches back to distance 0 it means body comes back to the position where it has started its journey we will represent these values on the graph like this you can see that here we have represented time on x-axis and distance on y-axis. Also note that while representing the quantities, we also have to mention their units. So here I have written unit for time that is second and unit for distance that is meter. In one second body has covered 10 meter of distance. So the point will be plotted over here. In 2 seconds body covers 5 meter extra distance and so the point will be plotted here. At 3rd second body is still at 15 meter it means between 2 to 3 second there is no movement or no distance covered by body. Whereas at 4th second body has come back to its original position. If we join all these points that we have plotted, we will get graph something like this. Now, we will discuss about what is gradient of distance time graph. It is very important to know gradients of distance time graph and speed time graph that we will be doing in next video because we will be having numerical questions based on gradients of these graphs. We know that gradient of the graph is calculated as y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Note that on y-axis we are representing distance. So y2 will indicate some value of distance and y1 will indicate some other value of distance. Whereas on x-axis as we are representing time we will be having two values for time that is t2 minus t1. Subtraction of two values of distance will give me some value of distance again and when I subtract two values of time, I am going to get difference in time. Now what is distance upon time? You can see here distance upon time. Distance upon time means speed of the body. So here we learn an important concept about distance time graph that Gradient of distance time graph gives us speed. So in distance time graph, whenever they ask us to calculate speed of the body, we should understand that we have to calculate gradient of the graph. I have taken two different examples to calculate gradient in this graph. We will consider first segment that is between 0 to 1 second. If I substitute values for the gradient that is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1, y2 will be 10 and y1 will be 0. So it is 10 minus 0 and for x2 minus x1 it will be 1 minus 0. 
and so i will get gradient of this segment the first segment of the graph as 10 as i said gradient of distance time graph is speed and hence gradient will have unit meter per second as it represents speed now we will consider third segment of the graph that is between 2 and 3 seconds again if i substitute values value for y2 will be 15 and value for y1 will also be 15 as body does not cover any distance between 2 and 3 seconds so my numerator will be 15 minus 15 in denominator we will be having values 3 minus 2 that is x2 minus x1 as the numerator will be 0 my gradient of this segment will also be 0 we know that gradient of distance time graph is speed and hence we can say that in third segment speed of the body is 0 we can also understand this practically that as the body is not moving between 2 and 3 seconds its speed will be zero in next part of this video we are going to discuss about different types of gradient in distance time graphs now in the second part of the video we are going to discuss about three different types of distance time graph we know that this type of graph is called as having zero gradient this type of graph is called as having constant gradient and this type of graph is called as having decreasing gradient we will try and understand what does this mean in distance time graph in the first example you can see that we have written some values in the table we have considered time interval of 1 second each and we have written the values for distance you can note that in first second body is at 15 units of distance in second interval it is again at 15 units of distance and so on for third and fourth interval it means that body is not changing its distance what does that mean it means body is not moving as there is no change in the value of distance over time as we know that distance time graphs gradient is known as speed here the body is not moving means it does not have any speed we also know that zero gradient means zero speed now in the second graph that you can see we have drawn two different lines we will first discuss about first line which is drawn in red color you can see that again we are considering interval of 1 second in 1 second body covers 10 meter of distance in 2 seconds body is at 20 meter of distance it means that in this 1 second time from 1 to 2 body has covered plus 10 units of distance in third second body is at 30 meter of distance again it means in 1 second between 2 to 3 body has covered plus 10 units of distance so you can understand that in every second body is covering 10 meter of distance we know that if body covers equal distance like this in inter equal interval of time we say that body is in constant speed or constant motion now the second line which is drawn in blue color it also represents constant motion of body but it is higher constant motion of the body what does that mean in 1 second this body is covered covering 20 meter of distance in 2 seconds it has covered 40 meter of distance that is plus 20 in 3 seconds it has covered again 20 meter of distance that is total 60 this body was covering 10 meter distance per unit time whereas this body is covering 20 meter distance per unit time but both of them are covering equal distance in equal interval of time if we study them separately 
So the graph that is drawn in red color, it is said to be having less steepness or less gradient compared to second graph or second line drawn in blue. As both of these lines are having constant gradient, that is constant steepness from here to here or from here to here, we say that the body is moving with constant speed. Now, in the third graph, you can see that the curve is decreasing gradient. Now, you can see the values that we have written. In one second, body has covered 20 meter of distance. So, in the first interval, speed of the body will be 20 meter per second. In two seconds, body has reached to distance 28 meter. It means in one interval between 1 to 2, body has covered 8 meter of distance. In third second, body reaches to distance 35 meter. That means in this interval of time, body has covered 7 meter of distance. In fourth second, body is at 35 meter of distance only. It means body did not move between third and fourth interval of time. You can see that the distance covered by body per unit time is decreasing over here. In first interval, body covered 20 meter of distance. In second interval, body has covered 8 meter of distance. In third, it has covered 7 meter of distance. And in last, it did not cover any distance. It means that body is moving with decreasing speed. Here, the speed would be 20 meter per second. Here, the speed will be 8 meter per second. Here, it will be 7 meter per second. And here, it will be 0. So, the graph is having decreasing gradient means it is having decreasing speed. I hope you are cleared with all the three examples that we have discussed here about distance time graph with zero gradient constant gradient and decreasing gradient. Please note down all these graphs in your notebook as we will need them while solving questions from past papers based on distance time graph. Thank you.